I'm going to teach you how to program in about five minutes. I'm not going to teach you any programming languages in five minutes, but I'll teach you four things that you can put together to make any program at all. To do programming, you only need to know about four basic procedures, and you'll probably be already familiar with them from everyday life. One of them is data storage. In a computer, if you want to make the computer remember a certain piece of data, generally in a program you will give it a name. So you might say x equals 7, and then later on when you talk about x plus 2, that would be 9. So you need to be able to know how to tell the computer to remember and recall data. Another important thing is being able to compare things. A computer program will often need to compare and see if two things are the same, like are two numbers equal or is 7 greater than 2. This one is really the crux of it, the idea of an if statement. Very, very fundamental. So basically the idea is just that you'll see if a certain thing is true. Essentially you'll make a comparison or something. And if that thing is true, then you will do a certain action. Otherwise you'll do a different action. So this procedure here is an excellent one if you um, like fire safety. So this procedure says that if your house is on fire, then, so if your house equals a house on fire, in other words, then call the fire brigade. Otherwise, go into your house or pub or whatever. Um, now, finally, we have the do loop. This is, again, actually just a very familiar idea. It's just the idea of doing something over and over again until some certain condition is satisfied. Actually this is the part of programming which really exploits the rapidity of the computer, the fact that it can do a million operations in the click of a finger. Um, and so here's an example of a do loop kind of procedure that tells you how to pick grapes. You do the operation of picking a grape and you keep doing that operation. So once you've done the operation you go around the loop and back to the top again and you keep going around until the box until your boxes are full and then you stop picking grapes and so that's it all you need to know are these four things and you can program just about anything so just for example let's program the actions of a blackjack dealer okay so in this procedure then after the dealer looks at their cards and works out the total and commits it to memory, they check if their total is bigger than 16. And if it is, then they stop doing things because that means they're either bust or they've hit uh, between 17 and 21, in which case they shouldn't pick up any more cards anyway, according to the rules. So they see if they've already got more than 16. And if they have, then they stop playing. Otherwise, they carry on playing and they initiate a do loop. And this do loop basically involves taking their total, picking up a card off the top of the deck, and changing their total by adding the value of this card to it. And they keep doing this operation again and again and again until this total exceeds 16, in which case the blackjack dealer has nothing left to do. And so you can see, hopefully, that there's so many different things that you can describe in terms of these procedures.